Mr. Chairman. Um, I want to thank everyone for hearing the chairman and, and ranking member and all who have uh, talked about this. I, I agree. This has also been one of the bills that we have uh, spent a lot of time on, and I think that's the energy, and that's that's where you do positive energy uh, for more having. And I look forward to not only supporting it the first time, I want to support it again, but also appreciate, uh, again, uh, Mr. Chairman, you and Congressman Murphy, especially on the parts of the mental health part, which has been also something from my perspective from the military side, okay. from okay. the chaplain side, in which I still wear that hat as well, just like you do on the uh, medical side. We have got a uh, situation in our country today in which we have to take care of those situations that are of mental health in which there has, as you expressed so eloquently, that it's not... Uh, I describe it sometimes like this. If my, my daughter, who's in a wheelchair, she has spina bifida. She, she was to roll in here. She was to be to roll in here. There would be people who would have sympathy uh, for, for Jordan because she's in a wheelchair. But if uh, Jordan was to walk in here and look perfectly normal but yet say something is wrong with my mind, we would not know how to deal with that. In fact, we'd actually look a, a different. And, and I think we've got to get away from that. We've got to say, you know, if, if something's about us is broken, we've got to figure out how we can fix it. And I do appreciate what has happened also that the in Title 14 of the Cures, we've actually added uh, a legislation that y'all both have supported as well, and that's the inclusion of the uh, Comprehensive Justice and Mental Health Act, which deals with the criminal justice system and the affecting the ongoing mental health crisis there. Um, this is something from the ju uh, judiciary perspective, and that's something that I have looked at, and I go uh, to jails locally and in small jails and uh, my smaller counties up to the Atlanta Federal Penitentiary, and what we find consistently is the men and women of law enforcement having to deal with mental health issues out on the street, not just the mental health issues of, of citizens, but also the PTSD, TBI, the stuff that we're seeing coming back from our service members. What this will actually allow them to do is, is to get uh, not only the, the cures part that we're looking at, but also the identification and training for our state and federal officials on how to deal with this, which not only transcends what we're doing in medical, but also takes it out into the realm of public safety and enforcement and keeping our law enforcement safe and the public safe. So I just wanted to just uh, you know hit this uh, just a little bit because really what's happening is when this language, which we've authored, reauthorized as the Mentally Ill Offender Treatment and Crime Reduction Act, which is uh, basically keeping, so we're not putting in using our jails as mental health facilities. So I do want to say thank you for putting that in. I look forward to supporting this. I think it is something that when we talk about it as we are now, whether it be cures for drugs, for, for you know, family members you know, across the board, whether it be cancer, Alzheimer's, these kind of things, these are the things that we look to cure. And these are the things also that we can include in here that actually can help us deal with those that are suffering and struggling. And so with that, Mr. Chairman, I just want to say thank you for the work. Look forward to, to moving forward. Everybody can find something wrong with the bill. It doesn't matter. But at the end of the day, are we moving forward? Are we helping people? And I think in this case, we are doing so in a prudent way, in a very good way. And I'm looking forward to supporting this and hope others would, would do the same. And sort of let the chatter go outside, but say, what are we doing at the end of the day, looking at the uh, you know, things that have been put in this to help us long term? We've got to get away from here in Congress looking at what does it do for us today and look at what does it do for us long term. And I think this is what that's a great example of. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you very much.